Hey, what's up you guys? Uh, thanks for watching this video. And so in this video, I want to talk to you about how to study uh, for, you know, like eight hours a day, like say if you're in med school or something like that. So I was, I'll tell you that I was a really crappy student in college. I actually was really good in junior high for some reason. They moved me up like in my math classes. But then in high school, I did like I was a clown. I didn't care. And college, I kind of started out the same way. So I ended up getting a tutor who helped because I, I was like I was taking physics and I was really petrified of physics. And so I got a tutor. And then I ended up like doing the best out of the entire class on the first test, which then everybody thought I was um, cheating because I <laughs> had been doing really shitty before that. So I have a couple techniques that helped me start doing really well, and um, I want to share them with you. One of them is, you know, there's been a lot of studies to show that we can concentrate for, for about 50 minutes at a time. Over that, we start to wane our concentration. So if you're trying to study for four hours at a time and you can't figure out why you can't do that, well, it's because of humans are just not very good at that. So what you can do is you take a, you get a timer and you set it for 50 minutes and you study, you know, you just decide you're gonna study for 50 minutes. And when that timer goes off, you take a break, no matter what. Even if it's like, if you're doing like really good, and you know, you wanna finish up a, a few minutes here and there, five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever, that's fine. But you gotta take a break. Take a break for 10 minutes at least, probably 20 is, is better. And then go back, set the timer again, do another 50 minutes. Say if you're doing for an entire day, what you want to do is, you know, in the morning, your first break, you go outside, you know, you, you go out, you walk, walk is getting like exercise and, you know, even if it's like not serious exercise, but just like, you know, getting up, getting out of that space will make you feel better, will prepare you to do the second 50 minutes. After the second 50 minutes, then, you know, you should probably have like a light snack, try to stay away from simple carbohydrates. Simple carbohydrates are obviously uh, lots of uh, sugars or um, you know pastries and stuff like that that's like horrible uh, that'll just make you go to sleep and uh, if you can get like a protein snack or something like that that's really good that's it's better it's a it's a more sustained energy or or complex car carbohydrates is a more sustained energy by that I mean it makes your blood sugar levels uh, well level instead of spiking your blood sugar um, way high and then dropping way low, which makes you like want to fall asleep. I can't, this is probably a shitty, uh, way to do this video, but the uh, thing that helped me is to develop habits. And habits, we always talk about, uh, people talk about, oh, I have a habit of smoking or whatever, but we really don't know what that exactly means, or, or a lot of people don't know exactly what that means. A habit is a, and I talk about this a ton, so if you ever watch my other videos, you're probably like, I know what a habit is. But anyway, uh, a habit is a trigger a, a routine and then a reward. An example is if you go into your kitchen every morning and for the last 10 years you've been having 10 pieces of bacon and five pieces of toast with uh, maple syrup, like every time you walk into your kitchen in the morning, that's gonna trigger you to want to eat that. If you can develop a habit, and habits are you know obviously created over time, and actually some people say that it takes about 60, 60, well, some people say 67 days to create a habit. You want to set up your um, environment the best you can to develop that habit in the first couple months because uh, it's really difficult to develop a new habit. And, and so if you have distractions or whatever, uh, then it's going to be uh, hard to, to keep doing that. Say like, you know, if you're studying, like have all your stuff out, you know, or know where you're going to go and have your books ready or your whatever you know computer and stuff like that or your notes and don't try and like scramble the morning of and tr and then um you know you can't find anything and then two hours later then you barely got, got started you understand what i'm saying so make sure you start on time and just have everything your environment set up to for that then if you can create that habit of doing that every single day after a couple months you will be like a machine like your brain when you get up will tell you i need to study today right you know if you're doing it every day like if you're in college or something like that and you, you're studying every day for 50 minutes at blocks and you're doing two and three hours a day like that 
and you, you're going to start doing well on tests. And so the, that'll be the reward really for you uh, that you'll be doing so much better. And that was the reward for me is that when I started putting in the time in and very consistently, instead of trying to cram for every test, I figured out that I wasn't stupid and I was doing really well. That was my reward and so that drove me to study more every day and, and then like in med school med school i was i was like totally petrified and so i started studying uh as much as possible you know 12 you know well probably not 12 hours a day but a good eight hours a day every day uh, maybe 10 hours and because i was doing that very consistently because i was so petrified i ended up developing a habit of studying eight to ten hours a day and then after a while the my you know I was doing really well on the test I actually got like an academic achievement award the first semester and everybody thought I was like a um, like a party animal I don't know why like I just went out on the weekend like everybody else but anyway so I got that uh, award and everybody was like really shocked but I was um, during the week I was studying eight to ten hours a day and everybody else was kind of f***ing around and you know they were studying here and there so uh, those are my two um, tips for learning how to study uh, for med school for uh, eight to 10 hours a day. Use 50 minute blocks. Make sure you like get some exercise between those. Don't eat a lot of uh, simple carbohydrates and then um, use the habit. Develop a habit, uh, make your brain want to do this um, and then it'll, be, it'll become much easier and uh, everybody will be wondering why you're doing so well. So I hope you guys like those tips there. If you're a medical student or a nursing student or a PA student or a NP or a, what else is out there? Everything. Anyway, it works with everything. I hope you guys uh, like these. If you do like these tips, you want more of them, you should subscribe to my channel and I'll uh, give you more. Um, and maybe share with a friend if you think these are good. All right, take care. See you in the next one.